Good morning and good day to you. This is our daily tarot. It is November 24th. We're approaching Thanksgiving and this is kind of a tender time for some people. And so I just want to encourage you to be kind to one another. The opening card that we have for today is the sun card. This is the most beneficial card of the deck. And the reason why is because when the sun comes out, it makes all the darkness and the shadows a little bit less scary. So when we look at this card, we have these two figures, a female figure looking over a fence and a male figure kind of peering over at the female on the other side. And it's this discovery process, this realization of this aspect of ourselves that's been in need of nurturing and love and development. And so in some ways, it's almost like this piece of us that's been really precious just got a little bit of a sun ray on it and it opened up a little bit. And so we're having this new opening and this new beginning that is starting to happen today. Now consider that, as I mentioned the other day, the sun just moved into Sagittarius. We're also approaching a Sagittarius solar eclipse. So we just entered into a new eclipse cycle. So wherever Sagittarius is sitting in your natal chart, you're going to be seeing some development in your life for the next 18 months because eclipse cycles are connected to the nodes and they are reflected in our own development of ourselves. So new things are starting to happen. The challenge that we have for today is, oh my gosh, there's just so much up in the air. Eight wands. A single wand is when we have a direction, right? It's like having a single staff and going up the mountain, you know exactly where you're going. But when you have eight wands, it's like, oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. It's and, and any of them can take us in all of these different directions. So when we look at this, we see these eight, eight wands that are up in the air. And in a lot of ways, things can feel like that. Like there's all these new beginnings happening and nothing has quite landed and it's all up in the air. And we have so many places that we could put our energy and our direction and where we want to go. We have to choose our direction. What this tells us, though, is that some things have to land before we can actually figure out which wand we want to pick up and walk with. The way we're going to get through this challenge is the Nine of Cups. So I encourage you that if you do have a lot of things up in the air, if you do have a lot of things that you want to do that you feel called to, that you actually sit with yourself and sit and feel what it would feel like to actualize that thing. And your body will give you a feedback as far as the excitement of it and where your own spirit feels called to go toward. Now, what does it look like to complete it? That's what you want to feel in your body as an emotional vibration because it will call that energy to you. Now, the overall outcome that we have for today is the three of cups. So we have a lot of cups, a lot of uh, relational energy coming in today. Keep in mind that this eight of wands could also be bringing in some kind of uh, new beginning in the realm of love or also a new beginning by way of some kind of communication or message that you get today that kind of shifts things. Um, and so the ultimate outcome of the day is actually a pretty uplifting card as well. It's the Three of Cups, which is this sense of happiness and joy and playfulness, you know? So it reminds us, like, what do we want to sit with, you know? Do we sit with the worst possible outcome that could happen and, and set out our door in that way, like looking over our head and the clouds that are coming over us? You know, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Or do we set out knowing that our spirit's going to call us in the direction that we need to go and listening to that and remembering that all of these moments that we're in, um, especially, you know, if you are blessed by being able to share time with family or friends this holiday season, really savor it, you know. A lot of times people talk about having gratitude for an experience and I think that too often we forget to savor the experience, you know, because nothing is permanent, everything is temporary and fleeting and the time that we have with each other to share with each other is really the most precious thing that we have beyond anything else material. So with that said, 
I send you so much love and a good wish over the Thanksgiving holiday and this weekend. And I hope you can soak up some love and send some blessings out into the world. Mwah. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.